Hey guys, welcome to the session on Automation Anywhere. In the today's session, we will learn how we can access emails through Automation Anywhere. So if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell icon to get the updates on the latest videos. So let's get started. First of all, what is our task? What is our task one? We will read email, read email and we will display display in the message box right so what we will be displaying maybe two subject time date etc that can be displayed inside the message box so this is the very basic task that is the task one and we will proceed further so let's see how we can do this from the automation anywhere so for that i will be creating new task and i will click on new workbench and I am inside the task section and in the commands you can see there are multiple of commands over here. I will move to email automation and I will select this get all messages. There are tasks such as get all messages, delete all messages and delete message inside email automation. So we'll look into them one by one. We'll take the first one that is the get all messages, right? So this is the box where we need to provide certain details how we want to get the messages. So we have selected the first option that is get all messages. Now we need to enter the details that is email server details. That is the host name, username and password. So before entering this email server details, let's select what server type you want to use. So accordingly, if you select IMAP, you need to enter the details according to IMAP. If you select POP3, you need to enter details according to POP3. So first see what these server types are, IMAP and POP3. So for that, let me write it down, IMAP. It stands for Internet Message Access Protocol. And POP3 stands for Post Office Protocol. Post office protocol and it's version 3 that's why pop 3 and uh, why it is used for it is used to access the email messages so imap allows to access email messages allows to access email messages and similar is the case with pop3 both imap and pop3 protocols with the help of that we can access the email messages so there are some differences between imap and pop3 so let's see what is that difference so suppose you are reading an email message using imap so how you will read that message those messages though all the email messages are stored inside a server in imap so whatever email messages you are reading you are reading inside a server right and in pop3 what happens when you are trying to read a particular email message that message is downloaded from server to your device from where you want to read that message correct so let me write it down also reading email message means reading on the server because we are reading on the server because all emails are stored inside the server right but what happens in the pop3 if you are reading an email message email is downloaded to your device to device from the server and then you are able to read the message right so what will happen because of this suppose you are reading this email from device one maybe your mobile phone or your laptop or your computer anything so you are reading from the device one and you are reading on the message now if you want to use device two that is completely possible because emails are on the server and you can use it to read from device one and from device two as well but in the case of pop3 if you are using device one to read the email message what happens email is downloaded to device one from the server 
okay and server has nothing server doesn't have that email now server doesn't have the particular email now it is inside the device 1 now if you want to use device 2 to read that specific email message you won't be able to read that why because it is not available inside the server anymore it is inside the device 1 so if you have a situation where you have to use only one device you can go with pop3 but you, if you want to access your email through multiple devices you need to go with imap so you can choose accordingly what you want to use right so i am going with the imap that is the imap server and i will give the host name over here so for imap the host name and i am using the email account as gmail account you can use any email account maybe outlook or any other email account you can use but if you are going to use gmail account so before going to use gmail account you have a prerequisite so what is that prerequisite you need to enable two step verification i will tell you this step verification and you need to generate app password so i have already created a video where how we can enable two step verification and generate app password in google account i have described it in detail if you have not watched that video i would suggest you to go through that video so that you can use the gmail account otherwise if you are using uh, the traditional password which you are using to log in to your account that won't be helpful guys so you need to do these two things to use your gmail for this email automation part right so i have already done in my case and i have already created a video for that how to do that so once you generate that app password you can use it over here so please watch that video guys so in the ho host name i will write that imap.gmail.com i'm taking the host name as i may imap.gmail.com i will give the username now username is similar to the my email id so i will write i have given my gmail id and i will give the password over here so what is this password this is not the password which i am using to log in to my account for my to my gmail account this is the app password which got generated by this once i have done this two step verification and after that i generated this app password so this app password you need to provide right so i will provide my app password over here this is my app password okay so i have provided the host name username and password and now the server type that i have already chosen that is imap and below the password you can see here server uses secure connection is does your server uses this ssl connection so yes my server uses this connection so i will check this box so now i will provide the port number so for imap the port number is 993 so i will give the port number as 993 and uh, i will write it over here also for imap host is imap.gmail.com port is 993 and for pop3 that is for pop3 host is pop3.gmail.com and port is 995 right so all good and now we have the option what you want to read what what all messages you want to get whether all read or unread so you can see in your email you will have a section that is these are the unread emails these are the read emails or you do you want to re get all the emails now i want to get only the unread emails right those emails which have not been read as of now so i want to re uh, 
get the unread mess unread emails so i have checked on unread and message format in both message format you want to get this is the html or the plain text so you can check take whatever you want i am taking as of now the plain text and if you have an attachment you can save it also so i am not taking this attachment part as of now we'll look into this later so all good we have entered all the details so let's save it so once you save it the command gets generated as that is the loop get generated start loop that is for each unread message on the server on this server username is mentioned as my email id ssl and the server type server type has been mentioned and the message format is mentioned so my first step is done read email now i want to display it in the, inside the message box right so for that i will go to the message box so this is my message box and now i want to display the message so in the command you can see that it is already described command in the loop use email very email automation variable so if i want to get the to message to whom it is the email is sent so for that the variable is this email from the variable is this so these all are the system variables and how we can access that we will press the f2 so before that now suppose i want to get email subject email subject so this is the plain text which i have written what is the email subject i will take it inside the variable so for that i will press the f2 once you press on f2 you will have a list of variables so in that system variables you will get if you scroll a bit down you will have all the variables related to email that is cc from message receive date receive time all you have so as of now i will click on my subject i will click on insert now suppose i want to get something else maybe email time and uh, i will click on press f2 again and in the system variables if you move a bit down you will have over here time so email receive time you have this format as email receive time you will click on that and you will click on insert so you will have this one message box so i will save this one and i will put it inside the loop so my first task is ready so let's save this task as email message box and i will save this one and we'll run the task and we'll see how is it going so let's run the task so my execution is started so it is in line 1 so yes my first message box got displayed email subject that is automation anywhere email automation demo 1 and email time all got displayed right so first unread message got displayed i will click on okay and this is the second message box got displayed with the email subject and the email type and i will click on okay so my execution is over because in my mailbox i had two unread messages and all got read we got the message box right now what we are doing we are reading all the unread messages and we are displaying it inside the message box so the next task which we will be taking in that we will display the message box with a condition maybe we can give a time particularly if condition so if time is this then display the message box if subject is this then display the message box so we will look into this with the condition we will read the email with the condition and this we will do in our next session okay that's all for this session hope you enjoyed the video thank you